Hi, welcome to Finivise. The AI cover tracks are spreading like wildfire. I mean, AI generated deepfakes are moving so fast that even policymakers are struggling to keep up. Just take a look at this AI Drake and Donald Trump song. These fake images of former President Donald Trump scuffling with police keep going viral. So likewise is an AI generated picture of Pope Francis wearing a stylish puffy jacket. That is not all. A few days ago, the Republican National Committee used artificial intelligence to create a 30 second ad imagining what President Joe Biden's second term might look like. It depicts a string of fictional crisis, from a Chinese invasion of Taiwan to the shutdown of the city of San Francisco, illustrated with fake images and news reports. A small disclaimer in the upper left says the video was built with AI imagery. This is just the beginning. We're going to see more AI campaign ads, and let's be honest, most people won't know it's AI if the video doesn't say it was made with AI. Imagine the level of misinformation and slander that will come from that. Personally, I can't get over the shock that we've been given the most potentially political disruptive tool in history that anyone can use to have the president's rap and even play games. That's weird. Plus, the ability of the famous deepfake AI to generate similitudes of anyone's images. We might all have a hard time differentiating what's real from what's fake. Cast your mind back to what happened to the AI Drake and Weekend song. You might have heard of the AI track Hard On My Sleeves by now. It went viral in a couple of days. The track was originally posted on TikTok by a user called Ghostwriter977 and shared on all streaming services. In 48 hours, it had racked up 600,000 Spotify streams, 15 million TikTok views, and 275,000 YouTube views. It was unbelievable. The short snippet is no longer available on TikTok, but the song still lives on Twitter. It features a voice that sounds eerily similar to Drake's over a menacing piano beat with producer Metro Boomin's signature tagline. Many had a hard time believing the song wasn't from the real artist. The exact origin of the song remains unclear, and some have suggested it could be a publicity stunt. But the stunning success of Hard On My Sleeve only adds to the anxiety already existing in the music industry, as it prepares to go on the offensive against the potential threat posed by the influx of new, increasingly powerful AI tools on the market. Some TikTok users even commented that the Drake AI song is just the tip of the iceberg, to which we cannot agree less. Artificial intelligence is quickly getting better at mimicking reality, raising big questions about how to regulate it. To make matters worse, tech companies make it possible for anyone to create fake images, synthetic audio and video, and text that sounds convincing. Even experts admit they're baffled. We are all left wondering, what impact will this have on our daily lives? Unfortunately, some of those risks are already here. For instance, for several years, AI has been used to digitally insert unwitting women's faces into porn videos. These deepfakes sometimes target celebrities and other times are used to take revenge on private citizens. I look at these generations multiple times a day and I have a very hard time telling them apart. It's going to be a tough road ahead, said Irene Soleiman, a safety and policy expert at the AI company Hugging Face. If policy experts can be this incapacitated, then what becomes of the music industry? What is the future of music artists in an AI-driven world? The examples go far beyond Drake. Another example is Ariana Grande, an AI-generated version of the pop star singing Paparazzi, a song originally written by Lady Gaga. It was uploaded by a Brazilian content creator with the username at MukalGD and currently has over 1 million views on TikToks. There are also AI covers of the late rapper Juice World singing Somebody That I Used To Know by Gautier and the late rapper XXXTentacion singing Akon's Lonely. It's absolutely beyond us. Many of these AI tracks sound so realistic and even more interesting than a few original tracks by the real artists. This technology is going to change everything. I predict that we will have an AI artist hit number one on the charts before the end of the decade as long as the music industry doesn't stop them. Even if the music industry succeeds at that, 
they're going to come up with AI voices. What else? AI can also write lyrics too. A human might need to help the AI and edit things, but AI can definitely create lyrics. AI is already writing poetry and music on other apps. No need to look too far. Tell ChatGPT, write a song about whatever in the style of whoever, and it will give you lyrics. Probably won't be as good or go with a certain beat, but all the pieces are there to have fully automated songs. Just as the synthesizer revolutionized music, AI is a new instrument humans can still use for creativity. And I think this will be the next blossoming change for music. So rappers don't even have to make songs anymore. Fans will do it for them. Record labels and artists are scrambling to figure out how to fight back against these new computer-generated creations. AI covers only began popping up in recent months, but it's beginning to get out of control. Another such cover featured Rihanna singing Cuff It by Beyonce. How AI-generated music will impact the music industry is yet to be seen, but UMG, Universal Music Group, recently asked major streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music not to allow artificial intelligence companies to input their music into the data used to train these AI tools. According to the Financial Times, the music corporation has begun filing takedown orders. A spokesperson for Universal Music Group, or UMG, told CNN that it would not be surprising to see more lawsuits like the one that Getty Images filed against the AIR generator Stable Diffusion, as well as a group of visual artists that sued the same AI company and another called Mid Journey. In order to protect the artists, the law needs to work hand in hand with the UMG to copyright their vocals. If not, the difficult part will be containing the sheer number of songs this technology can create. Laws and regulations have to play a role, at least in some of the highest risk areas, we know. But there's no silver bullet for distinguishing AI-generated content from that made by humans. Technical solutions do exist, like software that can detect AI output and AI tools that watermark the images or text they produce. But all of these technical responses have shortcomings. There's not yet a universal standard for identifying real or fake content. Detectors don't catch everything and must constantly be updated as AI technology advances. Open source AI models may not include watermarks. Copyright law is also an option in some cases. That's what Drake and the Weekends label, Universal Music Group, has invoked to get the song impersonating their voices pulled from streaming platforms. Ten states already ban some kind of deepfakes. Texas and California have laws barring deepfakes targeting candidates for office. When it comes to regulation, the Biden administration and Congress have signaled their intentions to do something. But as with other matters of tech policy, the European Union is leading the way with the forthcoming AI Act, a set of rules meant to put guardrails on how AI can be used. On the other hand, tech and AI companies keep moving at a fast pace, making their AI tools available to billions of people and incorporating them into apps and software many of us use every day. We all have a role to play in mitigating these risks, which includes efforts like fact-checking and asking yourself whether what you're seeing can be corroborated. We all just need to be more skeptical and fact-check anything that could have a large impact on our lives or democratic processes. Even at that, let's take a look at the positive sides. Under proper guidelines and regulations, this could be harmless fun. It is super straightforward. If the music industry gets a way to copyright a musician's voice, from there, in the same way you can get money from Spotify, the artist can earn money from people using their voice. Of course, there is going to be a set of rules, and since there is going to be a massive platform that provides such LLMs, the more diluted the experience from the original artist, the more people are going to be willing to pay more dollars to see artists dish out an undiluted music live in concerts. Another possible solution could be to make an AI category on Spotify and Apple Music, just like there is hip-hop, R&B, etc. And people can upload freely under this category, and the revenue earned is maybe divided between the original artist and the AI artist. So original artists can keep their authenticity, and the AI artists can get paid as well, while the audience benefit from it all. Also, maybe putting an AI tag on a song, just like the explicit tag on songs, can help with differentiating an original and an AI-generated song. Can't wait to see what comes next. 
If you are also interested in seeing where AI music is going, give this video a thumbs up. Of course, it's possible that some singers' careers may end, and that maybe people will stop listening to them and go listen to AI music instead. But mind you, the music industry is too pumped up with money, so current artists would still be rich. However, it might only mean there will be no more new artists. Enjoy this video? Now watch this.